Hi guys, so I'm going to try and do an empties videos for you. I've not done one before, but I absolutely love watching everybody else's empty videos because you get to see what people like, what people don't like, what people throw away, what people want repurchased. So I'm going to try and do mine and I can tell you I've got lots, lots and lots. So I'm going to try and make this as quick as possible. So let's get started. First of all, I've got my Bioderma. And I did absolutely love this product. I managed to get it uh, here in the UK. It's costing £15.50, which is fairly expensive, but I thought, let's give it a go. Everybody's raving about it. And since then, I've gone through a few different brands to try out. I do love my Bioderma, but when I can get very, very similar results from L'Oreal or Garnier, I definitely worth picking these up. And I think these are like three, four pounds, so comparison pretty good so the L'Oreal comes in 200 mils and the Garnier comes in 400 mils so total bargain I've also got another eye makeup remover here and I don't know if you're going to see this one at all this is Bifacils by um, Lancome this took me a while to use up only because I was just saving it brilliant for getting rid of the eye makeup remover does leave an oily residue but at some point, I'm definitely going to buy this because I find with the um, other makeup removers, they don't really get rid of the eye makeup. I do do a cleanse afterwards, but um, this works really, really well. Or if anybody knows a dupe or something that's a little bit cheaper, please put it in the comments bar below because I'd love to check that out. Talking about other makeup removers, this is Cleanse Energy from Origins. And this is an oil. I don't know if you can see it dripping down, but this is an oil makeup remover. I absolutely love this, but if I got it anywhere near my eyes, it used to slightly, slightly burn. But it used to just slide the makeup off and do a good thorough cleanse as well. So thumbs up for that. I'm not going to repurchase it yet because I'm just enjoying a new product at the moment. Right, I can see a few moisturisers. So I have the most disgusting bottle of Late Creme Concentrate, which is by Ember Elise. This was talked about everywhere. It's for all skin types. Um, I thought it was really fab, it was really good on the skin, but I actually find it might, I needed something a little bit more hydrating, especially towards the winter, but during the summer, this is perfect. A little bit pricey, but I loved it anyway. So for something that's a bit more hydrating, these are definitely them. This is Oilatum, and I, you can see I've gone through two. I've got another two on the go as well. These are perfect for hydrating the skin, and especially if you've got sensitive skin. These are definitely a repurchase for me. I love them. The Ember Release, I haven't repurchased yet, but I'm sure at some point I'll probably have a look around for a new moisturiser, and I'll probably pick up again, because it was good, but it wasn't excellent. But it was really nice just to go under makeup. So then, in the Origins category, I've got a Drink Me Up Intensive, and you can see... I've cut this open so I could get every single bit. This is a hydrating mask. I loved it, thought it was really, really fantastic, especially when I was in the embryo lease. This gave me that little hydration boost, hydration boost that I needed. So then another one origins is uh, Vita Zinc, and I bought a new one and I'm nearly running out of the new one. This gives you a nice little tint so people like me who are super pale, really, really fab. It's got SPF 15 and I love the smell of it. So. Definitely go pick this up if you want a nice, nice little easy glow. People stop calling you pale. Amazing. So definitely pick one of them up. Skin MD. This is something I bought uh, from America. And this is their natural shielding lotion. Ah, sorry. I got advised by somebody on YouTube watching somebody's videos. And I thought, fab, that's what I need. She had an oily skin. I have a dry to normal skin. And ah, it was good. But it wasn't great. I'll go on to hair care products. So I have a Tony and Guy dry shampoo. And this is called Cleanse. I absolutely love the packaging and the bottle. And I thought the dry shampoo worked great for me. I do not get super oily uh, scalp. I can probably go three days without even putting dry shampoo in it. And my hair is absolutely fine. It's just a little bit more textured. But this helps me put texture in my hair. Especially when I've just washed it. Really, really nice. Really nice product that I just threw away. I also love the Tresemme that I think I've been through a few bottles but I didn't actually save it. But I love the Tresemme ones as well. But do not like the Batiste ones. They make my scalp itchy and I just don't find it really does much for me. Um, hairspray, I'll let satin. It's a staple in anybody's uh, hairspray department. Not too sticky, brushes out. 
really, really fab and holds style nicely. I now have this product here, which is Lee Stafford's uh, Hair That Never Grows Past a Certain Length Serum. So, you can't see anything of that, but it's a product that you put in your roots, you leave it stand for a little bit and wash it out. It's sort of like a protein conditioner for your roots and people say that this really, really helps their hair grow. Um, for me, uh, my hair was short when I was trying to do it and yeah, my hair has grown but I don't know how much of a difference it's made but I think I will repurchase another one um, just because I want my hair nice and long for next year and you may as well give it as much help as possible. So next up is foundation and I've gone through a shed load of foundation. I think I've been collecting this for about two, three years. So get ready. Um, I've got a BB cream and I found this really... Ooh. I got this online. Um, really, really nice. It is a Korean BB cream, so it has a lot more coverage, and I just managed to spit a little bit out. But it's kind of grey in colour, but it's perfect for my skin, because when you blend it in, it sort of stops being grey. So really like this. Haven't bought another one, but it's quite handy looking at this now and thinking I might do. Next up for more drugstore. So I'm going to show you all these in one go, if I can. So this is number seven, uh, Stay Perfect. This, at some point, did give me a allergic reaction, but then it stopped giving me a allergic reaction and worked really, really well. So I love this product, and I got matched perfectly, but I'm super, super pale, so it was the palest shade in the range, so there wasn't much matching to do. I like, don't love, but like, definitely an everyday uh, foundation. I'm glad I stopped having an allergic reaction to it. Dream Satin Liquid. I do like these products. This is like full coverage, so it's a really good drugstore full coverage uh, foundation. I'm in light porcelain. I have got a slightly darker one, but it's way too dark. It's way too orangey for me, but this is a perfect little shade for me. Then I've got Revlon's Colorstay, and this is the normal to dry skin, and this is in 110 Ivory. Did not like this. Um, I know I've got normal to dry skin, but it was just slippy and slidey and a little bit tacky on the skin. I have now repurchased the dry one for the no for oily skin. So much better. I don't know, I just like it a lot more to this. So definitely if you're out there, even if you've got like normal skin, definitely go for the oily one, like oily combination one. Um ones, these are the L'Oreal Matte Motif or Morphos. Morphos? Um, these were really, really fab. I think they're now discontinued, so you don't need to worry about them. Really easy to apply, so when I was in a rush or didn't know how to do it, and you can see I kind of got through them very, very quickly. So um, definitely not something that's going to last in your collection a while, not going to last a good couple of months. This is just going to be really nice and easy. I did love these, so which is really bizarre for somebody with normal to dry skin. Usually the mousse ones are more super for oilier skins. Um, high End, which is my NARS Sheer Glow Foundation. I love this. It is well worth the hype. It is amazing. I've not found a foundation like this uh, since. Um, I am so, so upset that I've run out. I was wearing it in light to Mont Blanc, but that was the more yellowy tone because the too pinkier tone was just too pink for me. I'm more of a in the middle of the road, so yellower was a bit nicer. Definitely need to repurchase this. Haven't yet because I need to get through my foundation collection. For minerals, I have used two loads of Lily Lolo's China Doll Powder Mineral Foundation. I love Lily Lolo, they are like a cheaper version of Bare Minerals. Uh, you can get them online and I absolutely love them. I got mine in the lightest, well, before lightest colour, it's got like a little bit of a rosy undertone for China Doll. Um, really, really nice and there's only one, two, two ingredients in this. I think in the Bare Minerals ones, there's about seven or eight on there. So there's only two ingredients there. How amazing is that? So definitely good for anybody who has allergic reactions. These are gonna be really, really good on the skin. Um, I have got from Bare Minerals, because I do like my Bare Minerals, but if I can get something cheaper, I will get it cheaper. I've got my original Mineral Veil. Love, have repurchased, running out of the new one. Um, and I've also got Well Rested, which is SPF 20 for the eyes in the powder version. Absolutely love this. Only got a mini version one and now bought a full size version. And then trusty clean, uh, collection 2000 concealers. Absolutely love them. This has got a bit old so you can see it's gone a bit orangey. 
it still has some product in it but there's no point using it if it's too orange and has gone off so definite repurchase £4.19 in the UK one more that goes in the foundation and there's MAC Mineralize Skin Finish Natural in Light I am definitely hit beyond pan on that one or oh, light medium loved it and um, bought it absolutely ages ago uh, but um, I probably stick to uh, sort of more my Lily Lola products but I probably will at some point repurchase this but I was using this as a setting product not a foundation but this can be doubled up as a foundation so for blushes or cheek things I've also got stuff that I'm just not going to use because I just don't like it um, I've had this product for years this is Bourjois white chocolate highlighting powder it's really really pretty I've still got quite a lot of product in but um, I prefer more liquid highlighters or cream highlighters rather than powders so I'm just skipping it and throwing it in the bin I've had it for ages um, I've got Georgia here which is a blusher by Benefit which is so old I've cracked it I do like it but it is super super pale and even for me I struggle to wear it so it's just going in the bin and then something a friend gave me that um, she wasn't using but unfortunately I don't really like either this is the Shimmer Shades uh, One Way to Glow Full Compensation Plenty shades to glow and um, mm, nah, I'm good. Pass. I've got too many products, so I'll just pass. Um, an eyeshadow that I just want to use. This is absolutely old as well, bourgeois, and this is something in French that I don't understand, so I'm not gonna let you worry about it. Right, mascaras. This might be a handful. Oh, I've got so many. Okay, volume million lash. Loved. Definitely a good recommendation that Tanya Burr gave out. So I bought two. I haven't repurchased another one because I'm just trying to get through my mascaras. Um, uh, Bad Girl Lash. Definitely an amazing high-end mascara that doesn't give you too, too much fake lashes. Just gives you like a natural boost. So I had the mini size and the full size. Loved, but just need to throw them out. Um, I've also got a There Real by Benefit. I love these on nights out, but you definitely need an oily makeup remover to get rid of it. So definitely need to get that. I've also got another one in the drawer, so I have repurchased this. But um, yes, go into the bin. Doll Eyes Hypnose by Lancome. Loved. Really, really liked. Um, I'm now on the hip normal Hypnose one uh, by Lancome. Love that too. So hip uh, Lancome seems to be a really good brand for high-end mascaras. Max Factor, just a mini one, just meh. Bare Minerals, this is the Volumizing Mascara. Um, I loved, uh, this was my first high-end mascara that I absolutely loved. I loved the brush, nice and fat. Um, but yeah, it definitely is a bin. Um, I haven't repurchased really that, but it's definitely a recommendation that I give to people. Um, for lower end, I've got two of the Falsies Volume Mascara, Black Drama. This was... Um, a Tanya Burr recommendation. I like them, but I have found one that I prefer a lot better. Um, and Revlon Grow Luscious Mascara. I liked, and I had it in the black, black brown formula, and I actually quite like that a bit more than just normal black sometimes. It gives you a lot more natural lashes. Um, as for growing lashes, I've got another product in here that does a lot better job. I've got a lip gloss in there. This is just bourgeois. Haven't repurchased. I've got um, Primer Potion by uh, Urban Decay. In this packaging, it just really dried out really, really quickly, so it was dry as a bone within seconds. So I love the new packaging, um, much, much better. Well done, Urban Decay. Um, I've got my Lilash, which is my lash growth eyelash system. So this is the reason why my lashes are curly and curved up and a little bit longer. They might not look long to you, but they're definitely long for me because they used to be dead short and point down. Very expensive product, but if you ever do want to purchase it, definitely get it on Black Friday in America because I think I bought two for £60 when they're meant to be 90 quid each. So definitely, definitely worth it. Have bought another one and have got one ready for next year as well. Um, some perfumes. I absolutely love these and really get it uh, that they run out. This is Pure by Urban Decay. Love fresh sweet smells. Um, I've got a Sesh Vite um, top coat. Uh, it's going to be a miss for me. Uh, if I found my 
my nail polish just peeled off and that is a lot, a uh, very common thing for my uh, nails. One that I love is Revlon Colour Stay, which I think I mentioned last time. I think they're discontinuing it, so I've ordered some more, but absolutely gutted. But I haven't tried any of the others by Revlon, so I'm going to do that. But can you see how this just dried up? There's still product left in it, but it's completely dry. Um, and I've got night cream in there. I wouldn't buy this again. Shimmery. Shimmer underneath the eyes when you've got a little bit of bags. It's a no-no, so I wouldn't buy that again. It worked well hydrated, but no. And that is basically it. Yay, I did it! So now I can put things in the bin. Luke will be really happy with that. So thanks ever so much for watching. I know that's going to be long-winded. I might split this video in two. So probably, please go check the first part out. And, or if this is the second part, if this is the first part, check the second part, part out. Please subscribe, please give me a thumbs up and please comment below what video do you want to see next? Do you have any celebrity inspired videos that you want me to do? I would love to hear from you guys. So thanks ever so much for watching and goodbye. Love you lots, like Jelly Top.